Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun videos here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showcasing a fun little idea that probably if you have a chance to do so, and you can easily make and get some stuff to actually do it, I would really highly recommend doing. This is something known as obviously lighting up your base in an easy format where you don't obviously have to have a fire consistently burning all the time. It's not really ideal, but it is really cool when actually you get quite a lot of things ready to go. And of course, here we go. Let's go ahead and showcase it. If you went around your new world and you've caught fireflies before, or if you want to know how to do so, I have a, a video called Survive the Dark with No Torch showcasing where to find fireflies and how to find them, and then another one showcasing how to catch fireflies to use for a minor hat. So, if you've went ahead and caught yourself your fireflies using none other than a trusty little bug net, you can find fireflies at nighttime. So let's go ahead and unpause the server as we start to do so. Basically what I would recommend doing is when you finally catch your fireflies after taking yourself and getting yourself a bug net, as I mentioned before, I'm also in creative mode, you can take your bug net and at nighttime you will see multiple different fireflies around which may or may not be around your base. And then so there's one right there, you can go ahead and catch one and when you get 10 of them, you can go ahead and place them around your base. When you do actually plant them pretty close together, uh, you can actually get yourself a decent amount of light, which will actually in turn help you to not get attacked by Charlie at nighttime. So the more fireflies that you catch, the more flyers, fireflies that you move around, the easier source of light around you, and pretty much you can just stand in or around them, and you're not going to get hit by any type of darkness. Your darkness level depends on how much sanity you lose, so you can basically just consistently run around in a circle at nighttime if you don't even want to, you know, actually make yourself a little fire. Well, I mean, of course, if you do have a fire pit or if you don't have any wood to use it on uh, the fire pit, you can, of course rely on your fireflies but if you do have some wood of course you can use a fire pit and just add more resources to it to obviously light up your fire pit but this looks a lot cool doesn't uh, cooler doesn't it at the point where we basically are using fireflies to give us a little bit of light at nighttime and as time goes on you can continuously catch more and more fireflies by of course just using your bug net bug nets are not that expensive to make so if you make quite a few of them and you get lots and lots of silk you can consistently make your base lit, lit up as much as you want or as little as you want but otherwise when it does get to nighttime it just starts to look really pretty i love using it i think that going forward in all of my bases i have probably yet to have a base that does not have any fireflies because as night hits it just looks so nice to just watch them just appear out of nowhere so look at that. As you walk around your base and you sit there, you can say to yourself, well, I've done something pretty cool. And there's also some awesome mods to make your fireflies have different colors. So if you want to play around with those, I might even showcase that mod coming soon. But it's a mod called Colorful Fireflies. Pretty straightforward. And the mod lets you have pink, purple, blue, yellow, basically rainbow RGB colors of fireflies. It does lag the world just a smidge. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, the mod does. Otherwise... It's a really cool thing to have fireflies around your base so you can just run around in circles and just watch them as they slowly disappear but consistently look really cool. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.